Dr. Sas Mulavi, Medical Director of Smart for Life. When you look for a diet plan, make sure that you're looking for the right elements. If a diet plan offers you crazy amount of weight loss, don't believe it. Most people really can't lose more in the first month of about 10 to 12 pounds for women and maybe 12 to 15 for men. That's in the first month. In the second month, it's actually going to be a little bit lower. So if a plan tells you you can lose 30 pounds in 30 days, unless you weigh 650 pounds, that's not going to happen. I've had somebody who lost that much weight initially, but it was mostly water because they, they had so much edema. But weight loss, real weight loss, for most people occurs at the rate of about, about two to three pounds a week at most. If you have a metabolic problem, it's going to be less. You should also make sure that the program is well designed. That it wasn't designed by a business person, but it was designed by people who are dealing with people who are overweight on a daily basis, like specialists in, the weight, in weight loss. As, as I am a member of the ASBP, or American Board of Obesity Medicine, who see weight people who need to lose weight and see issues with weight loss every day. Make sure that the program offers you hunger control. If the program does not offer you a form of hunger control, then the program will probably fail because most people, when they cut their calories, are going to be hungry. So if the food they're giving you it does not have hunger control in it, there's an issue. Make sure that the program also has a motivational component to it. For example, at Smart for Life, we have motivational text messages, motivational cards, a motivational website. If they send you some information for you to read, that's not enough. Make sure there's a phone call you can call somebody to support you and help you. It should teach you recipes, a new way of eating, a new way of cooking. If you go to the Smart for Life website, you'll see that we have recipes that, that have been designed by some of them were our clients, but they were always went through our medical team in order to make sure that they fit the criteria that we want. High protein, high fiber, the right types of vegetables. The program shouldn't also be promising you cleanses that basically just dehydrate you to lose weight but should be offering you real fat loss in a healthy, sustainable way. The program should also teach you maintenance, which will always involve exercise. If they tell you you can lose weight without exercising and without dieting, it's impossible. You can't. Don't believe them. In order for you to maintain your weight long term, you must exercise. Believe it or not, though, in most people, they shouldn't exercise on the weight loss phase if they have not started because they actually get hungrier and eat more than they exercise. But if the maintenance program doesn't have a strong exercise component, you will not maintain your weight loss. They shouldn't also tell you that you're going to lose the weight forever and keep it off forever. It doesn't happen. Everybody gains weight. What we teach our people at Smart for Life is as soon as you gain some weight, come back to the program and lose those five to seven pounds that you gain, for example, over the holidays before it's 20 or 30. That's how you maintain weight loss. There's no magic. There's no gimmick. There's only hard work. But at Smart for Life, we make it easy. So look at Smart for Life. We've been doing this a long time. We're an undiscovered gem. And call us or come to one of our centers and find out what Smart for Life is about. Thank you.